Magnetism Introduction What happens when you close the door of your refrigerator? It gets drawn and stuck even without a bolt or a lock. Why does it happen so? Simple. This happens due to the presence of a magnet. Even a few pencil boxes or tiffin boxes have this arrangement for fitting the lid. What exactly are magnets? In this chapter, we will read about them in detail. According to Chinese literature, magnetism was known to Chinese as early as 2000 BCE. Chinese discovered that when a piece of magnetite was suspended freely, it always pointed in a particular direction. This directive property of magnetite was very helpful to sailors, who used it to find the direction when they were sailing. Since it helped the sailors in leading the ships in the right direction, magnetite came to be known as the leading stone or lodestone. Magnetism was known to Greeks as early as 800 BCE. Greeks discovered that certain stones attracted iron objects. When these stones were suspended freely, they came to rest pointing in north-south direction. These stones were called lodestones. Thus, lodestone was the first magnet discovered by man. This stone containing iron ore is called magnetite Fe304. Later on, artificial magnets were also made from pieces of iron. Magnet A magnet is an object made of certain materials like iron which can create a magnetic influence or effect. Fact The magnetic compass was first used around CE 1100. Chinese sailors used it to navigate in cloudy weather. Magnetic and non-magnetic substances Substances which are attracted by a magnet are called magnetic substances. Examples Iron, Steel, Cobalt and Nickel are the magnetic substances. The substances which are not attracted by a magnet are called non-magnetic substances. Examples Wood, Plastic, Copper, Paper and Aluminium are non-magnetic substances. Magnetism The property by virtue of which a magnet attracts magnetic substances and comes to rest in the north-south direction when suspended freely by means of a thread at its center is called magnetism. Activity To classify objects as magnetic and non-magnetic Bring different household objects like a glass, a lock, a pencil, an eraser, a spoon, etc. close to a magnet one by one. You will find that some of these objects are attracted by the magnet while some objects do not show any attraction or repulsion. Make a note of the objects attracted by the magnet and those which are not. Now, you can classify all the objects as magnetic and non-magnetic. Characteristics of a magnet Activity Magnet exerts force. Take a piece of glass and put it over two blocks. Now, spread some iron pins over the glass and put a magnet under the glass. Now, move the magnet in any direction. The pins will move in the direction in which the magnet is moving. This shows that magnet attracts iron and exerts a magnetic force on it. Natural and Artificial Magnets Substances like lodestone and magnetite that occur naturally and have the property of attracting magnetic substances are called natural magnets. The magnets which are made by man using artificial methods are called artificial magnets. These are generally made of steel in various shapes and sizes. The magnets can be categorized as bar magnet, horseshoe shaped magnet, U shaped magnet, ring magnet and magnetic needle.
poles of a magnet when a bar magnet is suspended freely with the help of a string it always points towards north and south when this magnet is disturbed slightly it again comes to rest in north south direction the end pointing towards north is called north pole and the end pointing towards south is called south pole of the magnet the two ends of a magnet where the force of attraction is maximum are called magnetic poles note magnetic poles are actually two points very close to the ends of the magnet every magnet irrespective of its shape has a north pole and a south pole the strength of a magnet is maximum at poles as you move towards the center of the magnet the magnetic power goes on decreasing and becomes negligible at the center activity to locate poles of a magnet a magnet has two poles north pole and south pole spread some iron filings on the table top and place a magnet over there the iron filings start clinging more towards the end of the magnet and very less at the middle of it this shows that magnetic property is maximum at the ends and minimum at the center of a magnet so the regions at the ends of a magnet where attraction is maximum are called the poles activity to show that magnetic poles exist in pairs take a bar magnet having north pole n and south pole s break the magnet from the center now bring another magnet near a broken piece of the magnet in such a way that the north pole of the magnet is near the one end of the broken piece you will observe that this end of the broken piece behaves like a pole which attracts or repels the magnet the end of the broken piece is the south pole if it attracts the magnet and if it repels the magnet it is the north pole the other end of the broken magnet will act as the other pole this shows that poles of a magnet cannot be separated if a magnet is broken into two pieces each piece will comprise a north pole and south pole if you further divide each piece into two parts then again each part will behave as a complete magnet having both north pole and south pole so we can conclude that magnetic poles occur in pairs only earth's magnetic field the earth behaves as a huge bar magnet as regards its magnetic field on the surface of the earth and up to a height of about 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 kilometers however there appears to be no collection of magnetized solid mass in the interior of the earth the magnetic field of the earth is due to following one the molten charged metallic fluid circulating in the core of the earth makes it behave like a huge bar magnet two the rotation of the earth about to its own axis causes earth's magnetism three it is assumed that the rotation of the earth about its own axis causes the magnetization of the iron and nickel mass and the earth behaves as a bar magnet testing a magnet a magnet can attract a magnetic substance as well as the opposite pole of a magnet but repulsion occurs only in between two like poles of two different magnets so we can say that repulsion is the surer way of testing a magnet activity repulsion is a sure test for magnetism take a metal bar bring one pole north or south of a magnet near the ends of the metal bar one by one if both ends of the magnet attract the metal bar is not a magnet if one end attracts and the other repels the metal's bar is a magnet thus repulsion is a sure test for metal bar to be a magnet or not types of magnets 
magnets can be classified in accordance with their ability to retain the magnetic properties. There can be two types of magnets. 1. Temporary magnets. 2. Permanent magnets. Temporary magnets. These magnets can retain their magnetic properties for a short period of time. They are made of soft iron. These substances generally behave like magnets under the influence of an external form of energy such as electricity or the influence of another magnet in their vicinity. They lose their magnetic properties as soon as the magnetic effect is removed. Examples, paper clips, iron items, electromagnets, etc. Permanent magnets Permanent magnets are generally made of steel, cobalt, nickel or an alloy called alnico, usually by passing electricity through them. These magnets retain their magnetic properties for a fairly long period of time even when the magnetizing force has been removed. Electromagnet Electromagnet is based on the fact that a magnetic field is developed around an electric current carrying conductor. An electromagnet actually works on the magnetic effect of current. An electromagnet is a temporary magnet because its magnetism can be gained or lost by switching on or off the supply of electric current. An electromagnet is usually prepared by winding a large number of turns of an insulated copper wire on a soft iron. The property of electromagnetism was discovered by H.C. Orsted. Let us perform an activity to see how electric current is used to magnetize a magnetic substance. To make an electromagnet. Activity. What you need. A soft iron rod, copper wire, battery, switch, iron paper clips. Take a soft iron rod and wrap an insulated copper wire around the iron rod. Connect the ends of the wire to the battery through the switch as shown in the figure. Now, put on the switch so that the electric current passes through the copper wire. Bring the iron paper clips close to the iron bar. What do you observe? You will find that the iron paper clips get attracted towards the iron bar. This shows that the iron rod has turned into a magnet. Now, put off the switch so that electric current no longer passes through the iron rod. You will find that iron paper clips start falling down from the iron rod. When a piece of soft iron is bound by an insulated wire and current is passed through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This arrangement is known as electromagnet. Activity To detect the strength of a magnet using a magnetic compass. What you need? Two iron nails, compass needle, batteries, copper wire. Take two iron nails and wind the copper wire as shown in figure 1. In figure 2, the nail has more turns of the wire and the magnetic compass needle shows more deflection. Now increase the number of batteries in figure 3. The compass continues to show more deflection. Thus, we can conclude that the strength of an electromagnet depends on the number of turns of the coil along the length of the rod, the amount of current flowing through it, the nature of core material. Properties of electromagnets 1. Even when the soft iron core is removed from the coil, the current carrying coil behaves like a magnet. This is because the magnetism of an electromagnet is due to the current flowing through it. 2. An electromagnet is a temporary magnet. As soon as the current is switched off, it stops behaving like a magnet. 3. The strength of an electromagnet depends on the amount of current passing through the coil and the number of turns of the coil. Choice of material for the core of electromagnet Materials that are best used for the core of an electromagnet are ones that can exhibit magnetic properties. These are 1. 
soft iron core best two metals that have a high iron content also can be used for example steel three cobalt rare four carbon rare scientist wilhelm edward weber was a german physicist and together with carl frederick gauss inventor of the first electromagnetic telegraph one of the most important works was the atlas de earth magnetismus atlas of geomagnetism a series of magnetic maps and it was chiefly through his efforts that magnetic observatories were instituted he studied magnetism with gauss and during 1864 published his electrodynamic proportional measures containing a system of absolute measurements for electric currents which forms the basis of those in use uses of electromagnets one electromagnets are extensively used in industries and scrap yards to lift heavy loads like metal scrap and machinery parts two electromagnets are used in constructing electric bells loudspeakers generators and electric motors three electromagnets are used in instruments like ammeter galvanometer and voltmeter four electromagnets are used to separate iron and steel objects from a heap of metal scrap five magnetic levitation maglev these are special trains having electromagnets fixed at the base making magnets magnets can be made by the following methods one induction method two single touch method three double touch method four electrical method do you know when two magnets are brought near each other they either attract or repel each other one induction method let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic material becomes a magnet by induction method activity take a strong magnet and bring it near a needle once the needle sticks to the magnet take it closer to another needle repeat this many times the needles are attracted by the magnet and get slide with each other in a row these needles get the magnetic properties due to the presence of the magnet this is known as magnetic induction when the magnet is removed the needles will lose the magnetic properties single touch method let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by single touch method activity take a magnet and select its one pole use the same pole every time and rub it on an iron piece only in one direction again and again after some time iron piece turns into magnet double touch method let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by double touch method activity take an iron bar to be magnetized take two bar magnets of identical length and strength place the opposite poles of both the magnets at the center of the iron piece now drag them gently in such a way that they should move away from each other along the iron bar always maintaining contact with the iron bar repeat this process at least 40 to 50 times you will find that iron bar has become a magnet electrical method let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by passing electric current through it activity take an iron bar and put a winding of a thin insulated copper wire around it connect the two ends of the wire to the terminals of a battery through a switch turn the switch on so that a current passes through the coil of copper wire bring some iron nails near the bar they are attracted towards it it shows that iron bar has acquired magnetic properties if the current is stopped the magnetic properties of iron bar disappear care and storage of magnets to prevent a magnet from getting demagnetized care must be taken not to heat drop 
or rough handling the magnet. Permanent magnets have the tendency to lose their magnetism when left alone. Such magnets are protected by using magnetic keepers. One should place magnetic keeper made up of soft iron between the magnets such as their opposite poles are close to each other. To prevent the tendency of a magnet to demagnetize itself, soft iron pieces are used. These iron pieces are called magnetic keepers. Even artificial magnets lose their magnetism if we do not take proper care of them. We should take following precautions in storing them. 1. Magnets should never be heated or hammered or dropped from some height. 2. Magnets should never be handled roughly. They should be handled very carefully. 3. When magnets are not in use, they should be stored along with magnetic keepers to avoid self-demagnetization. 4. Magnets should be kept away from mobiles, television, music system and the computer. Double Touch Method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by double touch method. Activity Take an iron bar to be magnetized. Take two bar magnets of identical length and strength. Place the opposite poles of both the magnets at the center of the iron piece. Now, drag them gently in such a way that they should move away from each other along the iron bar, always maintaining contact with the iron bar. Repeat this process at least 40 to 50 times. You will find that iron bar has become a magnet. Electrical method Let us perform an activity to see how a magnetic substance can be magnetized by passing electric current through it. Activity Take an iron bar and put a winding of a thin insulated copper wire around it. Connect the two ends of the wire to the terminals of a battery through a switch. Turn the switch on so that a current passes through the coil of copper wire. Bring some iron nails near the bar. They are attracted towards it. It shows that iron bar has acquired magnetic properties. If the current is stopped, the magnetic properties of iron bar disappear. Demagnetizing a magnet The removal of magnetic properties of a magnet is called demagnetization of the magnet. It can be done as follows. 1. By heating the magnet. 2. By hammering the magnet. 3. By passing an alternating current around the magnet. 4. By rough handling. Fact, the earth has its own magnetic field which is strongest at its magnetic north and south poles. Scientist Carl Friedrich Koss was a German mathematician and scientist who contributed significantly to many fields including number theory, statistics, analysis, differential geometry, geophysics, electrostatics, astronomy and optics. Gauss was a prodigious mental calculator. Reputedly, when asked how he had been able to predict the trajectory of Ceres with such accuracy, he replied, I used logarithms. The questioner then wanted to know how he had been able to look up so many numbers from the table so quickly. Look them up, Gauss responded. Who needs to look them up? I just calculate them in my head. Uses of Magnets 1. Magnets are used in doorbells, refrigerators, cupboards, doors, etc. 2. Magnets are used in dynamos, motors, etc. 3. Magnets are used in loudspeaker, microphone, floppy disk, television, etc. 4. Magnets are used in tape recorders and electric meters. 5. Magnets are used in several toys. 6. Ceramic magnets are used in large computers. 7. Magnets are used in magnetic compasses to know the directions. 8. It is used in factories for lifting heavy masses of iron like scrap iron. 9. It is used in hospitals to remove steel splinters from the wounds. Uses of Magnets 1. Magnets are used in doorbells, refrigerators, 
cupboards, doors, etc. 2. Magnets are used in dynamos, motors, etc. 3. Magnets are used in loudspeaker, microphone, floppy disk, television, etc. 4. Magnets are used in tape recorders and electric meters. 5. Magnets are used in several toys. 6. Ceramic magnets are used in large computers. 7. Magnets are used in magnetic compasses to know the directions. 8. It is used in factories for lifting heavy masses of iron like scrap iron. 9. It is used in hospitals to remove steel splinters from the wounds.